Hello everyone, this will be the last unit in the um, macroeconomic section of the syllabus, unit 2.6 about supply side policies. This is the first video of supply side policies and in this video I will introduce the role of supply side policies. So let's get started. Supply side policies are policies that aim at positively affecting the production side of the economy by either improving the institutional framework or improving the economy's productive capacity. Um, this means, that is to say, changing the quantity and or quality of the factors of production. So any change that is aimed at changing the quantity of the factors of production or quality of the factors of production falls under supply-side policies. Supply-side policies can be either interventionist or market-based. Whether they are interventionist or market-based, the aim is to shift the long-run aggregate supply curve to the right and achieve growth in the potential output of the economy. So supply-side policies will always shift the long-run aggregate supply curve to the right and increase the productive capacity and potential output of the economy. If we have a look at the neoclassical um, perspective, the um, vertical LRAS will shift from LRAS to LRAS1. Uh, this means that there has been an increase in productive capacity, which also means there has been an increase in potential output. Remember, potential output is different from actual output. Actual output is the level of output that the economy is actually producing. Potential output is the level of output that the economy is capable of producing. Um, this also means there's been an increase in the full employment level of output, YFE. From the um, Keynesian perspective, supply-side policies will also shift the Keynesian aggregate supply curve in the um, long run, as you can see from the Keynesian AS1 to Keynesian AS2.